I believe passionately in the American free market and the American style capitalism. I think getting the government out of the way from an infrastructure perspective is key to unleashing that. And I have confidence uh, that our approach uh, is enough to win against any other system of government that's out there when it comes to 5G or other technology. But this is the casing of the 28 gigahertz uh, 5G millimeter wave access unit for Verizon, which are going live uh, beginning October 1st of this year in Sacramento and Houston uh, for uh, fixed wireless access service. And this is the whole thing. You pop off this cover where the, where the cables are. This is where the optical and the power go in. And then the, uh, this is it. The top part, a little over half, has an array of 1,024 antenna elements. And those work together to form an electrically steerable beam. And that delivers over a gigabit per second of data to the customers. Or it can be divided up among multiple customers. The part below that is where the baseband processing is. And that's, that's everything. The, uh, the only thing that a carrier might have in addition to this, uh, depending on how they've deployed their network, is an AC to DC converter. I understand that actually gray was a chosen color too, that they actually they, they market tested that with the, the, the locals and that, that seems to make people happy because it's unobtrusive. They kind of blend in. Uh, but hmm. let's, let's keep going with truth. Where is that going to be placed? So It'll be placed know. on, uh, so uh, actually the Wall Street Journal did a, a, a really nice uh, 5G section last Thursday. And there were some pictures in there of what the deployments will look like. Um, and so this unit would go maybe on top of a street light sticking up at the top of the pole part. So you wouldn't even notice that there's something new there. Uh, or maybe clustered around the side of the pole or on the corner of a building. Now, also, where there are existing giant cell towers, you, you could imagine that AT&T or others might put some of them on the cell tower. But you don't have to go build a 200-foot cell tower for this. The, uh, the antenna arrays create this steerable beam, which helps concentrate the energy, and that overcomes the limitation of those very, very high frequencies where they don't propagate as far as lower frequencies do. And they also don't really penetrate buildings. So they're, uh, the, the beams get pointed at the user. And so if it's uh, like for a fixed wireless access deployment like what Verizon is launching this year, this unit will be on a pole. There will be a router at the customer's house window or on the outside of their house and the beam goes between them.